This is just a quick update on the generator that I've been building and where I am on it so far. You got the receptacles and the plug on, which are both waterproof because they have to be outside and whatnot. Battery's been wired up. Nothing's final yet because we still have alligator clips on a lot of stuff. So until I figure out where I'm going and what has to go where, then I'll finalize all that. To wire the boxes, I just use an old appliance cord from like a VCR or something. And I ran that down into the switch box right there. And then out of that box, I just used some household wire for like switches and lights and ran it up into the box with the receptacles on them. <clears throat> These are three prong receptacle <coughs> three prong receptacles and uh I wired these with this being the positive and those two being the negative. They might be the same as a house, I'm not too sure, but that's how I wired them. And I just attached them with L brackets and self-tapping screws. So they seem like they're pretty sturdy. And what I'm using this for is lights up around my garage in the woods. So when I come up here at night, I got some lights up here to work with. The one there, and I made this one, it's kind of redneckish, but it works. It's a tractor lamp inside of a cigar box, hole drilled on the bottom, and it works. The shed does have 110 in it. We ran a wire up the hill, but it's kind of a hassle getting the wires out and having 110 stuff around here. So I just assume you use 12 volt. <clears throat> And I'll try to start this up. It should run. It, I'm gonna need a new carb for it because I just this one's just terrible. It's running really crappy and stuff, so it should run fine though for now. Throw this switch, and they're on. And for that one over there, I just used an old extension cord with a junk end, so I just replaced it with one of them cheap ones from Home Depot. I actually have too much cord, but that's all right. On the end here, those are wire nutted together for now until it's all set. And on the inside of this lamp is tin foil. It was kind of dull. It doesn't really cast too much light, but it'll work. It's better than nothing. And then inside there, if you can see it, I just rigged up a bracket to hold the light inside of or the fixture. <clears throat> so they don't work too bad. And I guess tonight we'll uh, see how they look, as long as it's not snowing out again. Well, this is the test see how it does in the dark. We ended up getting a bit of a dusting of snow for the last few hours, but it's nothing heavy, so... Alright, I got all my <clears throat> wires hooked up and everything. And the lights up. And that one over there. The girls are all set. So, we'll see how this thing does. Works good. Works real nice. That and the Honda is nice and quiet so you can run it at night. Well that's really awesome. I'm very impressed in how this came out. I'm liking it. Well, that'll help me out if I'm working late with the tractors and I gotta come up here. 
cool. And the next thing I think I might do is run a wire from that one right up to the, wherever it is, there it is, all right. The top edge of my Quonset hut or garage, whatever you want to call it, and probably maybe run it in the middle there, inside, so I can have some light in here too. Yeah, this is cool though, nice. As you can tell, the Honda's kind of working hard because the carburetor is not really that great, but it's good enough for now. And then the last thing I got to do to this thing would be uh, make a cover for it somehow, so if it's outside, it won't get too much snow or rain on it. But other than that, I mean, this is nice. Come on, focus. There we go. All right. They do throw a lot of light though. There we go, now she sounds better. Well, this is third part of my generator project and I just got probably one more to go once that thing gets covered. Well, there you have it.